Hi there, it's Jane by the way and music is something that's really been on my mind this week. No surprise um, in that I spent last weekend in Germany singing with the barbershop chorus that I absolutely love, the White Rosettes. And um, I got to thinking, of course, while I was with all those wonderful women, um, about music and somehow got, got to thinking about the sound, uh, not the sound of music, the Wizard of Oz. And the fact that actually I never, I've never seen the whole film, um, which some may not find very surprising, but actually to me it is a surprise because it's one of those films that was on TV every single Christmas. Um, my parents weren't particularly into musicals at the time, so it just was never something that, that we watched. And actually the first time I saw the whole production was probably four years ago uh, when um, Liam, my son, um, was involved in a school production. He does the sound and the lighting and they put on The Wizard of Oz. And I loved the underlying message. I can't think why I'd never really come across it before, that the thing that the scarecrow and the tin man and the lion were looking for to make them complete, in each case, to make them whole, was actually, in the end, something that they found from within. And it's so easy, isn't it, for us to be looking for something external to help us feel complete. And I, I was reflecting on how did that show up in my life, and I realised that uh, the love and approval of my dad has been a big driver for me. It's not that I don't believe he loves me, but somehow I needed to hear it, to feel it more. And I think what that did was drive me to work hard because that's how I was going to get results. Um, and what I've realised more recently is the love and care that I was seeking is, of course, as in The Wizard of Oz, something that sits right inside me. What I was really looking for was to feel connected to loving and approving of myself. And how I've come to feeling more at ease with myself has been a, a journey, as these things usually are. Uh, about a year ago, I went on an effortless meditation course with a fabulous lady called Jo Royal. And I had such a profound experience that day of reconnecting with my sense that everything in life is connected, we are all connected, and that I'm not on my own, I'm supported and that that support is there at any time, any day, when I might choose to tap into it. And it was such an important impact on me that I decided I would carry on with the meditation and I've been doing it consistently for almost every single morning now since that, that day. I would say that I've been a bit of a dabbler over the years in all sorts of things that I believe are going to help me to achieve the results. So I tried out meditation before, I tried journaling, affirmations, goal setting, all sorts of different things. And this time the meditating really stuck. And then in the autumn last year, I started journaling. In fact, I added some other things. I would take a few minutes every morning to read something new I would journal, I would do my meditation, some affirmations, some visualization. And out of all those things, the meditation carried on. And I also added in journaling regularly. And at the beginning of this, and, and I found actually that what that gave me was an even greater sense of feeling positive. Time that used to disappear somehow, I now find I have enough time for the things I want to do because instead of pushing really hard to get to the results, I'm actually finding that because I'm tuning into myself and external inspiration that, that the answers are just coming much more easily. So this year I decided I was going to make the year of absolute first class self-care and that I would really commit to a daily practice of self-care. And it's been absolutely amazing. In fact, um, I don't have time every morning to do all of the things that are, that are on my list, but I make sure that I always meditate, I journal, and then sometimes I will add in 
Um, I'll write, oh actually I'll write down my intentions, which can be small scale things for the day or bigger things that I'm, I'm aiming towards. And then sometimes I'll add in affirmations or I might read something. But I just have this real sense that I'm doing the things that nurture me. And the funny thing is that um, as a result, I've become much, much more creative. I seem to have way more ideas than I, than I ever did have. And I've realized that this daily practice is a sign of my self-care, my self-love, and it also nurtures it and fills it up too. So I'm actually feeding myself with the practice that is the practice that helps me to feel that way in the first place. I'm wondering what you could do for you to get into that space too.